Hey everyone, welcome back to I Dream of Indie. I am Old Gamer Joe, back with another review for you today. Another point and click adventure, pretty popular lately. There's been a lot of these coming out, especially on the Nintendo Switch, but this one is for PC Steam, and it's called Willie Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town, released as of August 11th of 2020, developed by Imaginary Lab and published by VLG Publishing and Whisper Games. There is a little bit of a discount at the time of this review, bringing the game down to $16.99 here in North America. It is normally priced at $19.99. Okay, we can get the obvious comparison out of the way here. A pirate-themed point-and-click adventure game, Monkey Island. Of course, there is some inspiration. I don't even think the developers would try to deny that. But what does Willie Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town do to stand out? Well, if I'm being honest with you, it doesn't really do much different from its predecessors. But the game does tell a pretty decent story, with Willie receiving a letter from his father dated from 10 years ago. This letter says that, Willie, I am in trouble. Something has gone terribly wrong on my expedition, please help me out. Willie sets out to Bone Town from that point on, only to find that his father was quite popular and well known in that area, and this leads to more and more mysteries being unraveled around the disappearance. Don't expect any sort of gameplay innovation here whatsoever. This is a very standard point-and-click adventure game. You have an inventory system which you can access with the mouse wheel, and you can drag and drop items onto certain areas to solve puzzles, though these puzzles are extremely easy for the most part in Willy Morgan, and you can also combine objects at certain times to create new objects. I didn't mind that this one was a little bit on the easier side to be honest with you, having just played Darkestville Castle, which was a pretty difficult point and click adventure game that I quite enjoyed by the way. But yeah, overall these puzzles aren't too hard to figure out, this is sort of a relaxing point and click adventure game. The world of Bone Town seems interesting enough, but unfortunately some really wooden voice acting takes you out of this experience. I found that the lead character was a little bit grating, and the other characters that you come across aren't particularly well voice acted either, which is a bit of a shame. Now I know this is a genre of games that isn't known for its outstanding voice acting, though in some cases there have been some great performances, but I do think you need a little bit of charisma or emotion when you're performing voice acting, and unfortunately that's not the case here. Still though, the writing is solid enough throughout this 3-4 hour adventure, it keeps you engaged, but I do wish that the acting had been improved upon a little bit. That said though, graphically this is not a terrible looking game whatsoever, the animations are a little bit on the stiff side, but I enjoyed all of the different environments and areas that you get to explore in Bone Town. The character models aren't terrible, a little bit of a cartoony look here. I do feel like the town, and I know this is kind of part of the story, but feels like it's a little bit empty, like it's not lived in, and I would have liked to seen a little more life and liveliness to some of the areas that you explore. Still though, on the whole, it's not a bad presentation, the cartoon style works effectively enough, and some of the characters that you do interact with at least supply you with some interesting dialogue choices to make. As far as the soundtrack goes, it's not half bad, reminds me a bit of the early days of point and click adventure games. I did feel like some songs were better than others, and maybe these melodies could have been developed a little bit further, but it gets the job done, it's suitable for the most part for the environments that you find yourself in. They're not memorable compositions, but they work okay. And I know I touched on this earlier, but the voice acting is a pretty big miss in this title. It was probably my biggest overall complaint. Ultimately though, Billy Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town is a pretty by the books point and click adventure game. It doesn't take any extraordinary risks, but it doesn't necessarily have to. It's a welcome addition to your point and click adventure game library. If you're looking for another one, it's not going to be something you'll really remember down the road, but it is an entertaining few hours. I glimpsed the menu outside the club. What's your specialty? Chicken, kid. Delicious, free-range chicken. Only chicken? Absolutely, kid. Chicken is our main ingredient. Healthy, genuine, and it's not fattening, so you can eat as much as you want. We Bellamy's have invented more than 100 recipes to serve it with. A diverse menu, then. So will you be pointing and clicking your way through Willie Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you have enjoyed our coverage today, consider hitting the subscribe button to help us bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. There's a ton of other ways that you can support I Dream of Indie down in the description box, including becoming a member, as well as checking out our brand new merchandise store. However you end up supporting us, we thank you so much for doing so.